Welcome to Pixel Composer tutorial number 7. In this video, I will go through one another topic that I want to cover, which is about manipulating 3D models. The first feature is the ability to import and view an OBJ object. I'm gonna use the model from Max Parata called Voxel Spaceship. Now you can simply drag in the OBJ file into the Pixel Composer. And if that OBJ file have an MTL file or the material file, then it's gonna locate that file and load in as well. When you are selecting the ob object node, the 3D OBJ node, you will see this rotation and position editor that you can click and drag. As you can see, you can view the model. You can rotate it around in each axis. Now, when you look at the property here, you will have this object transform and render or camera. And we have the light. Like you can change the direction of the light, the color of the light, the intensity, so on and so forth. These two property is like the most important one. As you can see, when you move this gizmo, it will actually change render position. It will not change object position. But when you rotate the object, you actually rotate the object rotation. All right, so this can be a little bit confusing. The main point here is that this render can also be seen as a camera. Right? And so you do transformation on the object itself, or you can do a transformation on the camera. And why is this important? Because in the output of this 3D related node, you will have this output called 3D object. This 3D object will apply the transformation in this object transform. So when you, for example, move it into transform, when you put that 3D object into this transform node, and then you change the position of this object, it will not change the position of object in this node, right? Because you only change the render position. But if you change this object position values, it will also move the object position in this next zone as well because it will actually change the 3D object. The other thing you can do is you can also create 3D primitive by right-clicking and go to the 3D option. You can see here you can create 3D cube, cylinder, sphere, and if you click on it, it will just create a cube. Again, you can click and drag this rotation. It can also have texture input. So let's just add in some basic texture. As you can see, you can apply the texture on it. It is cube mode. If you go to the texture, there's also an option for you to apply different texture to each side as well. And as you can see here, the property you can change is also the same. It has the object transform and the render of the camera and the lighting. You can also create a 3D cylinder or add that in the latest version, 1.0.9 is the uh, 3D sphere. The next node that I will be talking about will be the 3D extrude node, which will allow you to generate 3D object from 2D image. So let me drag in some 2D image, like this picture that I drew it myself because I will now including the picture and the save file in the Dropbox link down in the description. So we have this 2D object, we can drag it out and then go to 3D, extrude, and then you can see we simply generate 3D object by extruding out a pixel. Another thing you can do here if, you, if it have these height map properties, so you can create a height map to define how deep each of these pixels is. So for example, let me create some shape. Then when we add this surface image into the height map, you will see that this extrude out, that it extrude the image out with different height, depending on the brightness values of each pixel. The next set of nodes that I will be talking about is a 3D operation, these three nodes. So first let's create some basic cube. The first node we have here is 3D transform, which as the name suggests, simply allow you to transform 3D object. Like you can rotate it, you can scale the object, you can move it around. The second node here is 3D combine. This will allow you to combine multiple 3D objects into one scene. And as you can see here, because this rotation is actually applied on the object, so the object will also be pre-rotated in this combine node as well. So you may want to reset the rotation here before you combine it. So now we can see that it become one single object. And the last node is 3D repeat. In the example, we have a single cube, but you can repeat it and then you make it a bit closer. So now we have a stack of multiple cube. You can also apply rotation to each of these clone. And apply the scale to each of the clone. You can also make it a linear repeat or you can make it a radial repeat. So 
you can create an effect like maybe something like this. Another thing you can do with 3D node is as you can see here, the extrude node is actually accept image array. So what you can do if you have like a set of image, I don't have an example for it, but for example, you import an image array and then you extrude all of them. Then you can put this into a 3D repeat. And what you do here is you basically create like a sprite stack. You can create 3D object from sprite stack using this method as well. This is the one way you can use this 3D repeat and 3D extrude. And that's it for the 3D tutorial in Pixel Composer. In the next video, it will probably be about the how to create some specific effect. So see you then. Thanks for watching.